let's get right into it. What really happens to your prostate if you ejaculate frequently? It's a question a lot of men think about but rarely ask out loud. For many of us, the prostate is this mysterious gland that we don't pay attention to until it starts causing problems. We hear stories, we get anxious, and often we just ignore the potential warning signs hoping they'll go away. And let's be honest, it can be a tough subject to talk about even with a doctor. There's stigma and misinformation out there. But ignoring your health out of embarrassment is one of the worst things you can do for your quality of life. So today we're going to break that taboo. I'm Dr. Narita, and I've spent 12 years helping men understand their bodies and take control of their health. And this topic matters. In this video, we're going to look at the real science behind ejaculation frequency and prostate health. We'll uncover the three major changes your prostate goes through after age 40. And most importantly, I'm going to give you a clear, simple action plan with steps you can start taking today to protect your prostate health for the long run. Before we continue, where are you watching from today? Drop your location in the comments. I love seeing where this community reaches. First things first, what even is the prostate? Think of it as a small walnut-sized gland. It sits right below the bladder and wraps around the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine out of the body. Its main job is to produce the fluid that nourishes and transports sperm, making it a crucial part of the male reproductive system. For most of a man's younger life, it does its job quietly in the background. But here's the key thing to understand. As we get older, particularly after 40, the prostate has a natural tendency to grow. This is a normal part of aging for most men. When it does grow, it can start to squeeze the urethra, which leads to some of those classic annoying symptoms many men start to notice. Things like having difficulty starting to urinate or a weak stream, waking up multiple times during the night to go to the bathroom, and that frustrating feeling that your bladder is never completely empty, no matter how hard you try. If any of this sounds familiar, you're not alone. So let's get to the heart of it. Is frequent ejaculation, whether from masturbation or with a partner, good or bad for your prostate? The science on this is actually pretty fascinating. A landmark study published in the journal European Urology, which followed thousands of men for nearly two decades, found a very strong link. Men who ejaculated more frequently, specifically around 21 or more times per month, had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who ejaculated only four to seven times per month. The leading theory behind this is something called the prostate flushing hypothesis. The idea is that with each ejaculation, the prostate gets flushed out. This process helps clear out old cells and potentially harmful substances that might otherwise build up in the gland and trigger inflammation or the development of abnormal cells. It's like cleaning out the pipes regularly to prevent buildup. But here's the critical part, and I really want you to hear this. Frequent ejaculation is not a magic bullet. It is just one piece of a much larger health puzzle. You cannot eat poorly, avoid exercise, and skip your doctor's appointments thinking that ejaculation alone will protect you. It's a helpful factor, but it has to be part of a complete healthy lifestyle. So beyond ejaculation, what is actually happening inside your body? Let's talk about the three major changes your prostate goes through after 40. The first major change is enlargement. As I mentioned, the prostate naturally grows with age, a condition known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. This isn't cancer, but it's what causes most of the urinary symptoms. As the gland gets bigger, it can also become less efficient at expelling its fluids, leading to retention. This can create a constant feeling of pressure or discomfort and can lead to chronic low-grade inflammation, which is a key driver of many health problems. Why does this matter for your daily life? It means more trips to the bathroom, interrupted sleep, and that nagging feeling that something isn't quite right. It affects your comfort, your confidence, and your quality of life. The second major change is related to hormonal shifts. As men age, testosterone levels naturally begin to decline. At the same time, the body converts some of that testosterone into a much more potent hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. High levels of DHT are known to stimulate the prostate cells to multiply, which directly contributes to its enlargement. This hormonal imbalance is a major factor in prostate changes. Understanding this helps you see why certain lifestyle choices, particularly around diet and exercise, can influence how your prostate ages. The third major change is an increased risk of cellular abnormalities. 
Think of it like this. Every day your body is replacing old cells with new ones. Over decades, with billions of cell divisions, there's a higher statistical chance that a mistake can happen, leading to the growth of abnormal cells. The combination of inflammation, hormonal changes, and the simple factor of age means the risk of developing conditions like prostate cancer increases. This is exactly why being proactive and getting screened is not just a good idea. It's essential. Now that you understand what's happening, let's talk about what you can do about it. Here is your four pillar action plan for a healthy prostate. Pillar number one, annual medical checkups. This is non-negotiable. Starting around age 40, or whatever age your doctor recommends based on your family history, you need to be seeing a urologist for an annual checkup. This includes two key things. The PSA blood test, which measures a protein in your blood, and the digital rectal exam. I know the exam is the one everyone fears, but let's be straightforward about this. It's a brief procedure that can save your life. Your health is what matters, and early detection is the single most important factor in successfully treating prostate cancer. Don't let embarrassment stop you from getting screened. The discomfort of a few seconds is nothing compared to the peace of mind you'll have knowing your prostate is healthy. Pillar number two, an anti-inflammatory diet. You have to give your body the right fuel. This means reducing or avoiding foods that cause inflammation. Things like excessive red meat, processed foods, fried foods, and too much sugar. Instead, you want to load up on vegetables, fruits, and healthy fats found in things like avocado, nuts, and olive oil. And now for something powerful, tomatoes. Tomatoes are packed with an antioxidant called lycopene, which has been shown in numerous studies to be incredibly protective for the prostate. And here's a pro tip. Lycopene is better absorbed by the body when it's cooked. So things like tomato sauce, tomato paste, and even ketchup can be great for your prostate health. Add cooked tomatoes to your diet several times a week. It's a simple change with powerful benefits. Pillar number three, consistent physical activity. You don't need to become a marathon runner, but you do need to move your body consistently. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate activity like brisk walking most days of the week. Strength training is also fantastic for regulating hormones, and there's a specific exercise you should know about, Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, which helps support the bladder and prostate, improving urinary control. They're simple to do and you can do them anywhere. Contract the muscles you would use to stop urinating, hold for a few seconds, then release. Repeat this several times throughout the day. It's a small habit that makes a big difference in urinary function. Pillar number four, proper hydration. This is simple but absolutely crucial. Drinking enough water throughout the day helps dilute your urine, keeps your urinary system functioning smoothly, and helps flush out toxins. Aim for around two to three liters per day. However, be strategic about timing. Reduce your fluid intake in the evening to minimize nighttime bathroom trips. Drink most of your water during the day. It's a small habit with a huge impact on both your prostate health and your sleep quality. Now let me address something important. Many men feel embarrassed about prostate issues. They feel like it's a sign of aging they'd rather ignore. They feel their masculinity is somehow diminished by needing checkups or experiencing symptoms. I want you to hear this clearly. Taking care of your prostate is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of wisdom. The strongest thing you can do is take responsibility for your health. That means getting screened. That means eating well. That means moving your body. That means paying attention to the signals your body sends you. This isn't about fighting aging. It's about aging well. It's about maintaining your quality of life, your independence, your dignity. And the truth is, prostate health is absolutely manageable when you're informed and proactive. Let's bring it all together. Caring for your prostate isn't something to put off. It's an essential part of taking charge of your health as a man, ensuring you have a high quality of life for decades to come. Here's what we've learned. Frequent ejaculation may offer protective benefits by flushing out the prostate, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. Your prostate naturally changes after 40 through enlargement, hormonal shifts, and increased cellular risk. Understanding these changes empowers you to take action. Your action plan includes annual checkups, an anti-inflammatory diet rich in lycopene, consistent physical activity including pelvic floor exercises, and proper hydration. These aren't dramatic lifestyle overhauls. They're simple, sustainable habits that compound over time. Start this week, pick one pillar, and focus on it.
Maybe it's scheduling that checkup you've been putting off. Maybe it's adding cooked tomatoes to your meals. Maybe it's committing to daily walks. Small steps lead to big changes. If this video helped you understand your prostate health better, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on notifications because every week I share research-backed content specifically designed to help men over 60 maintain their vitality and dignity. Drop a comment below. Tell me what's one healthy habit you're going to start this week to protect your prostate. Let's support each other. Share this video with a friend or family member who needs to hear this message because breaking the silence around men's health is how we change lives. Here's what I want you to remember. Your health is your responsibility and taking action is the most powerful thing you can do. You're not too old to make positive changes. You're not too far gone to improve your health. Your body responds to the care you give it at every age. This isn't about fear, it's about empowerment. It's about understanding your body so you can support it properly. Age doesn't have to mean decline, it can mean wisdom, it can mean taking better care of yourself than you ever have before. Your prostate health is manageable. Your vitality is within reach. Your quality of life is worth protecting. I'm Dr. Narita. Take care of yourself because you're worth it. And I'll see you in the next one.